the Human Optimization Podcast is proudly brought to you by Vicon Supplements, where quality meets sustainability. Vicon's all-natural supplements are handcrafted and sustainably produced in Canada, bringing you products that nourish both your well-being and our planet. Visit ViconSupplements.com today and be a part of a greener, healthier future. Are you ready to embark on a journey to the best version of you? Join me, Lisa Patel-Killa, as I dive deep into the world of hair tissue mineral analysis and functional medicine with fellow experts and guide you on the path of unlocking your full potential. As a multi-time kettlebell sport world champion, I'm on a mission to reach high performance professionals from around the world to help you minimize tiring symptoms, maximize health and gain unstoppable energy. This is the Human Optimization Podcast. Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Human Optimization Podcast. I am your host, Lisa Patelkilla, and I am super excited to be diving into one of my favorite topics today with Micah Portney. He is one of the original pioneers of zeolite supplementation for human consumption. He spent the past 25 years of his professional career researching and developing zeolite products. He's founded the first ever zeolite exclusive supplementation company, Zeo Health. Mr. Portney has been waiting for the perfect opportunity to introduce this formulation, and he also holds a master's degree in clinical research psychology from Long Island University, in addition to an undergraduate in both mathematics and science. With his incredible wealth of knowledge of zeolite, Micah has become an expert on this fantastic supplement. He advises and consults many prestigious doctors regarding their research of the zeolite supplement and helps prepare their work for publication. I am personally excited to dive into the world of zeolite because in the mineral balancing space, zeolite is one of the binders that we use in order to help mitigate symptoms and facilitate detoxification. And so, Micah, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And tell us, I always like to give the guests time because there's a reason that you're here. There's a reason that you chose to focus on zeolite to do all that research. And there's obviously a background of, of your journey getting here. And I know our listeners would love to hear that story. Okay, well, um, it's actually a funny story because it, it, I originally was not um, doing this except trying to help myself in a couple of different, well, that's always how things happen, right? So um, I started, I have um, something called uh, Dubin Johnson syndrome and extra enzyme in my liver. If I drink mm-hmm. alcohol, mm-hmm. I get very dehydrated and I get really bad hangover. So mm-hmm. I came across zeolite and the understanding of zeolite was that it removes toxins and heavy metals. So mm-hmm. As I started researching it, I was like, okay, hangovers are caused by toxins and alcohol. I wonder if that would work to stop hangovers. And it did. (laughs) And so I started the company actually as a a hangover product. And as I developed more and and found more research on zeolite, I realized that I wanted to focus on helping people instead of something that they've created themselves. So. Uh, one of my first products after that was for my IBS, which is mm-hmm. called Estefan. Yeah. Um, and it was to, you know, stop diarrhea from people. And it was naturally, I couldn't use Imodium. I, I spent my whole life with this as a teenager. My wow. friends knew about it. It was so stressful. And, mm-hmm. you know, um, so Estefan was able to use zeolite naturally to um, stop that. And uh, it worked really well. So I was like, well, other people need to know about this. So I started really uh, putting that product out. And I still have customers now from 25 years ago who buy cases of it. They're like, in case you go out of business, I'm like, we're not going out of business. Like, no, we can never be without it. So, oh my um, goodness. As, but as I did this more and more, I saw all of the, benefits of zeolite in general as a foundation for good health because the ability to remove toxins and heavy metals which compromise our immune system as well as uh, it being an alkaline mineral which balances the pH in the body and if you ever see a swimming pool with the pH out of balance it turns green and all sorts of things start growing in it Mm -hmm. well our bodies being over 80 percent water okay 
that have very specific systems that are meant to and designed to work together. When your pH is out of balance, nothing works the way it's supposed to. And sometimes it can look like you have a disease or an illness that you may not actually have between your immune system being compromised and everybody shows toxicity differently with heavy metals and toxins and your pH being out of balance. By taking zeolite, it is the foundation before you should be doing anything because then it removes the toxins and heavy metals. So Mm -hmm. whatever symptoms are being caused by that, which by the way, is very individual. So no one can say, oh, if you have this, it's toxins. Everybody shows it differently. Mm -hmm. Everybody shows the detoxification process differently as well, which I'll I'll get into in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, And the the food we eat and stress on our bodies creates um, uh, acidity, okay? And foreign cells thrive in acidity. So by zeolite balancing the pH, it creates an environment where foreign cells can survive and the body is in homeostasis and our systems function the way they were supposed to function and designed to, which is very efficient. And so that's why zeolite is so important, not only just for the detoxification, but for maintenance ongoing, because we're exposed to toxins and heavy metals on a daily basis. And like I said, foods that we eat, especially in this country and um, stress on our bodies creates acidity. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, and so, can you dive into the background just of of what zeolite really is? A lot of people don't understand what it is. And then I'm going to ask an an additional question uh, to that as well. So zeolite is formed when uh, lava and volcanic ash come in contact with the sodium in seawater. And it has a chemical um, reaction, which creates a cage structure, almost looks like kind of like a beehive. Mm -hmm. Um, And it also has a negative charge by nature. And so that functionality of it actually is very specific because it goes by atomic weight to pull the heavy metals. Everyone's like, oh, is it going to take the good stuff out of my body? And it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it naturally has elemental calcium and potassium, sometimes magnesium, but those do not get swapped out. It's called a cation exchange Mm -hmm. until the zeolite finds out. I I always say it like this. Zeolite's kind of carrying a hamburger around. And then when it comes across filet mignon, it gets rid of the hamburger and then we'll pull in the filet mignon. So it will get rid of the elemental calcium and swap that out um, on an atomic level for the heavy metals and toxins, Mm. pull it into the cage and trap them. Yeah. And one of the things I want to make sure before I forget, because I mentioned I was going to say something, is that the thing about zeolite is everyone's like, oh, like drugs are used to medications and everything. Zeolite, you can't really take too much. OK, the more you take, the actual less potential you have for side effects. And the reason for that is I always like to say this. If you're in a rock concert or something and there's 50,000 mm-hmm. people, they come out to one bus right? It would be complete chaos for everyone where they needed to go. If they came out, there was a fleet of buses, it would carry them efficiently and there would be no issues. Same Mm -hmm. with zeolite. If zeolite Mm -hmm. uses that negative charge to pull out toxins and heavy metals and there's not enough cages, you're more likely to get side effects. So people who have said, oh, I'll start slow. And they're like, oh my God, I've had detox effects. We tell them it's counterintuitive. Take more. Yeah. And you won't have those side effects. And people have been amazed at that really happening. So it's been uh, it's been pretty amazing. It's an amazing mineral zeolite, actually. Yeah, yeah. And so I know that some people uh, have an issue or believe that it contributes to the accumulation of aluminum because it is an aluminum silicate. Share a little bit on that. Okay. Well, one <laughs> of the things I'll let you know about is that. Um, because no one understood about zeolite, and I knew this, and I understood the, the science behind it. So yeah. when I started the company, I started putting money away mm-hmm. because I knew one day the FDA would be coming to my door because they right. weren't going to understand it. 2015, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they did, along with Kamala Harris, who sued me personally as the Attorney General of California, oh my goodness. Um, and my company, and... I had to explain to them and show them actual scientific. I use their expert. There's a world-renowned expert that works for the EPA, 
all the armed forces, all the state governments who does the bioavailability of heavy metals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he actually, I had to have this test done on swine and it was funny because he piggybacked it on a study he was doing for um, California already. So they were the yeah. ones actually coming after me <laughs> and um, along with the FDA. And so he proved that he gave, you know, one group the, the feed with the zeolite and one yeah. group the feed without the zeolite. Now, the thing about feed is it already has heavy metals. So they had right. to account for that and find the baseline. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what the funny part is. And they did it by accident. He came back and he said, well, wait a second. Not only is there no heavy metals because of take, the ones taking the zeolite, but they're lower than the baseline of the swine who are not wow. taking zeolite. And so he that's was confused. Wild. And so I said to him, well, that's what zeolite does is remove toxins and heavy metals. But yeah. he wasn't trying to prove that. He was just trying to prove the bioavailability of the heavy metals and zeolite. So not only did it not increase the heavy metals, which is mm -hmm. what the government was saying, yeah. but it actually lowers them. And the the assistant attorney generals to Kamala Harris came back to um, my lawyer and myself um, and, and our toxicologists and said we made believers out of it. Wow, that's incredible. Well, and I think that too is why, and again, I don't know how many years this has been happening, but I've been working with animals in the last like four or five years. And I think there are some zeolites being added to their feed. Now, what I don't know is the quality of the zeolites, right? And that's, I think, something that definitely needs to be dug into. Yeah, well, it's this is what I always say, zeolites like water, right? First yeah. of all, I could say there's over 100, zeolites the name mm -hmm. of a family. Yep. So over a hundred different types of zeolites, including um, synthetic zeolites, uh, mobile before they were now Exxon Mobil. We're doing yep. synthetic ones for oil spill cleanups. Zeolite A was one of them. But um, so, yeah, there was different. I say zeolites like water. There's spring water and swamp water. Which mm -hmm. one would you rather be drinking? So there's different <laughs> qualities of, of zeolite impurity. The one that we use is clinotolite. And when I was doing my research, well, more than 25 years ago, um, more like 28, mm -hmm. um, because I started the company in 25. I spent three years before that doing the research with uh, FDA consultants, you know, doctors, universities, geologists, uh, even um, water filtration plants who were using zeolite to remove heavy metals from uh, the water. So I gathered all of this information in order for us to understand how it would work as a supplement. But yeah. there was studies, university studies that were done on, on clinoptolite that showed that it was beneficial, beneficial for health in humans, as well as one called mordenite. Mm -hmm. And when I took a look at the two different zeolites, because they had a lot of research on them, mordenite mm -hmm. was fibrous. So I believe that if we used mordenite as a supplement, it would wear down the esophageal lining and the stomach Makes lining sense. and cause long-term issues. Yeah. Clinoptolite is not, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not sharp at all. And so I went with clinoptolite and that had the more research anyway. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. Now it's, wow. um, now everyone uses clinoptolite and anyone who doesn't is being, um, unethical because there's no research showing any safety for any, any other zeolite besides clinoptolite. We've done a ton of toxicology studies. I told you we did the bioavailability mm -hmm. studies, but zeolite as a compound, okay, it remains a compound as a sodium aluminosilicate. So whatever alumino is in there, mm -hmm. it is it, unable to be broken that bond. It's like water, right? Water continues to be an H2O. It's not, you, you don't remove the oxygen and the hydrogen, right? The yeah. compound remains intact, even though we consume it, or you can make it a gas or ice, it doesn't matter. The compound of H2O remains the compound. So same with zeolite, it would take pure hydrochloric acid, mm -hmm. which would burn a hole in your stomach or very intense heat. I think it's 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, which would wow. be in, in a volcano, right? That's mm -hmm. so it's volcanic. That's why it, it would be able to break down the compound, but our bodies are not strong enough, the stomach acid or not. So what the FDA did, which is what panicked everybody was they did something called the full digestive analysis, which is they used enough acid to break down anything into a puddle of elements. And they're like, whoa, there's heavy metals in there. We're like, yeah, because it's volcanic. Right. Okay, so it's from the earth. Of course, there's going to be all sorts of elements in there. Mm -hmm. But when the compound is is formed, 
the any heavy metals that are in the zeolite are bound in the actual structure or fibers of it, right? Yep. Which are, are like a wall. I always mm -hmm. say it's like marbles in the cement. You're not getting the marbles out, right? right. And so that's what they were like, hey, there's heavy metals in it. And then that's why we showed them the bioavailability of it using these studies as well as both in the lab and with the swine. They, unfortunately, because I'm an animal lover, but it was necessary to, to protect against the government. And so zeolite would still be on the market. They were trying to take the whole industry down. Had they taken me down, everybody would have followed. Wow. And so um, they, but they took the body parts and everything and we're able to analyze the bones, the marrow, the, the livers, the, uh, you know, everything and see that there was no negative impact for taking mm. the zeolite. Amazing. Well, and the one thing that I, that I do get every once in a while, two questions that I get come across is the concern with it binding to things like iron and copper, right? And I think that you've kind of presented that, that that's not the case. It's going to kind of, it may pick those up, but it's going to put them back when something else comes into the picture. Right. But because it's already got the calcium and potassium, it's not going yeah. to pick up these other things mm -hmm. unless this is the atomic weight. Like I said, it has an affinity for heavy metals. So it doesn't yeah. want to do that. Your body would have to be pretty clean of all heavy metals and toxins, which is pretty much a, a, an improbability. Right. Okay. But the other aspect of that is we know that the body utilizes when it when it has something like copper i mean our body does use copper and mm -hmm. different small elements in in small amounts yeah. and those would because you know people are like worried well it's going to take out the good things right yeah. but anything our body's going to use it actually encapsulates in an amino acid so it can use it right mm -hmm. so anything that's already been encapsulated in, in an amino an amino acid that the body's going to use zeolite's not going to take mm -hmm. it's going to pull anything excess Right. that the body's not utilized. Yeah. So it's not going to cause any sort of issue. That's why it's so unique. There was also a study, I just want to throw this in there because it's yeah. really crazy, that even though zeolite's alkaline, for mm -hmm. some reason, if somebody is too alkaline, it still balances the pH to bring it into home, into balance. And I don't, I don't know the science behind it, but I saw the study and I found it really interesting that zeolite can do that even though it's an alkaline mineral. So it's got yeah. some amazing properties that we still don't understand about, but hmm. we're finding out more and more as, as uh, time goes on. Yeah, that is really interesting. And, you know, going back to the, the misunderstanding of the aluminum, because again, one of the main things that I use in horses. And I'll tell you that when we're doing mineral testing, hair testing with horses, probably 97% of them are aluminum toxic and some in an extreme cases. And I've managed to use zeolite as the binder of choice for those particular horses. And within three months, a lot of times the uh, aluminum has come right back into a normal range, yeah. uh, which is really amazing. Yeah, we've seen uh, I've used it. I had horses and we used it on our horses and yeah. um, sick horses in the barn who were dying and yeah. we gave them zeolite and uh, I gave it to them at cost and mm -hmm. they were just amazed at how well that worked and the horse is alive and fine today. So yeah, yeah, it's wild. And so talking about the best form, we talked about uh, the uh, clinoptilolite, right? But what about the difference between a lot of people like to use spray zeolites and the nanoparticles? And I definitely, in my time, at least in the last decade, maybe even more, have heard a lot of negative reactions to that type of liquid nanoparticle zeolite. Tell us the difference and tell us why that might happen. Okay, well, zeolite itself is is a, a mineral, so it can't be liquefied. I told you about how the compound is, right? Mm -hmm. So it basically, we micronize it to a powder, and that's how it really should be taken. Yeah. All of these liquid companies, um, the first one that started was a multi-level marketing. I think they were in 2007. I wrote a whole white paper about it. Mm -hmm. um, but what we found out was they were actually just taking tiny amounts of zeolite, putting it in water and calling it a liquid zeolite and saying it got to the cell faster and blah, blah, blah. That company actually got sued class action by their own distributors when I was able to tell one of the nurses who was a distributor yeah. about that. I found that there was only 10% of what they claimed of zeolite in the product and it was only a 50% purity. 
And so they were using a commercial grade zeolite, which was meant for cat litter or water filtration or oil spill cleanups. And so, yeah, that's why they got sued by the distributors and lost. And so what happened was, and this is why you you should understand what happened and why there's so many liquid zeolites. Mm -hmm. When that company was sued, the, one of the owners went and started another company. A ton of distributors went out and started different companies, all liquid zealous, because they saw how much money they could make lying to people. And so that's what they were. These are marketing companies. So they are uh, professional marketers. I'm a professional at zeolite and manufacturing yeah. that, and the science. I am not a marketer. I don't even pay spend any money marketing my company at all yeah. mm-hmm. because people who use our products come from us from referrals of people who have used it. And that's how my company has grown the last 25 years. Yeah. Um, People is like, we're so glad we found you. I don't know how we found you, but we don't market at all. So these companies, let me go into the nano. First of all, the synthetics out there, which I I say should be a drug. Because once you synthesize something and you have no um, safety history on it, that mm-hmm. should be considered a drug and it should be, have to prove the safety of it because yeah. it's synthetic. It's being lab created. Um, there's already been a history being used in animals. Um, uh, that's why the government had to allow the supplements that I created were because they had been using it in the farm animals to stop diarrhea because they couldn't use drugs in the food chain. Mm-hmm. So the farmers realized that the, all these animals were dying from dehydration and they, they were losing all this money. So the farmers realized that the zeolite, if they put it in the feed, would stop the diarrhea. Not only that, but it was increasing their uh, lean muscle mass in the animals. Wow. And I'll tell you why about that in a second. Okay. But um, so they had to test it for it to be in the food chain. And that's why it was grandfathered in to be able to be used as a dietary supplement. There's nothing the FDA can do. Yeah. Um, but the nano ones, na- a nano, first of all, every nano is so big in the marketplace, nano mm-hmm. this, nano that. So the yep. marketing companies were like, wait, let's use nano. Let's say nano, right? Nano zeolite. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense in physics, right? A nano particle would be smaller than the heavy metal particle it was trying to pick up. It would be like fleas on a dog. It's yep. it, The whole reason zeolite works is it pulls it into the cage structure and traps it, and the body's not re-exposed to it anymore. Mm -hmm. But if the the cage is smaller than the heavy metal particle it's trying to pick up, it doesn't make sense in physics. And so um, the reason why zeolite works for building lean muscle mass, and I have been trying, and I just have been so busy, and I never get to it, to develop a product, because I was a bodybuilder when I was yeah. younger, um, to develop, and I use it for for working out. I mean, mm-hmm. people tell, say I have a body like a 25-year-old, and I'm 55, so yeah. um, I have the six-pack pack abs, all that stuff, but the the reason is that the reason for muscle failure and fatigue. And I have a lot of these uh, triathletes who come to me like, oh my God, I I can hold my breath long. I can swim long. I can do all of this stuff with stamina. And it's because our body's failure is because of lactic acid buildup on the muscles. Mm -hmm. Zeolite's alkaline, it takes down the lactic acid, which increases stamina. So that's why I'm saying it does so many things and it's so unique. It's, It's wonderful. It's been a godsend for me in so many ways. And that's why I I'm so adamant about sharing it with people and Mm -hmm. making sure people know it and understand it. But there's just so much misinformation out on the Internet because of these marketing companies who will say anything to sell their products. And for an instance, now I'm getting stuff. uh, And by the way, a lot of the stuff that I developed have been stolen by them and used in their marketing. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the, the funniest thing is that first MLM with the liquid zeolite was using powdered scientific studies to market their liquid because there was no study on the liquid. There still is. Oh, my gosh. So wow. Um, wow. It, is, it is very frustrating for me with the misinformation because when they're doing and saying anything to sell product and then people come back, they'll come to me and say, hey, do you have third party studies? You know, and they read something on the internet that said, you have to ask all these companies if they doing third party lab yeah. tests. Mm-hmm. And I always tell people it's ridiculous. And they ask for documents, scientific documents, they wouldn't know how to read. Mm-hmm. 
mm -hmm. of certificates of analysis and all these different things that uh, I've had companies who manufacture supplements not know how to read one, okay? Yeah. So the consumer is definitely not going to know it or understand it. But I've had them come to me and, and I say to them, look, in June of 2010, the government mandated, the FDA mandated that all supplement companies had to manufacture under GMP. There's no more <laughs> manufacturing in your bathtubs or, in, you know, in your house or whatever. Yeah. And so you have to be manufacturing under GMP and GMP requires lab, certified lab testing. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not a lab and neither are most companies that manufacture. So they have to have labs that are certified, which are third party labs yep. testing all the quality control. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, they call them food screens with E. coli and bacteria and yeast and mold yep. and um, heavy metal testing. You know, all that stuff has to be done through third party labs. So but again, they're manipulating people. And I spend my time trying to get rid of this misinformation and they come very aggressive being like, well, this company told me and this and that. So mm. it has been a frustrating space and I'm happy to do things like this now more, which I used to not yeah. because I want people to understand what's going on and what the real information is and kind of get back from this um, MLM thing that the, the misinformation. Yes. And I have, there's a guy right now who's doing a documentary on zeolite and he's very angry he's completely going negative on oh, goodness and the reason why he's doing that is because they've come across people who are having issues with mm -hmm. zeolite but it's the mlm products right and so i tried to talk with him and explain to him and give him the science behind it i spent three hours doing it mm -hmm. but he was so focused on pulling negative no matter what yeah. that i kind of i backed off of helping him and i said you know i don't want him using my name to validate yeah. what he's doing if yeah. he's not really taking things and looking at it from a impartial perspective yeah absolutely absolutely and and you know when you when you have that vision already right and that feeling already it's hard to be able to to change that and you you really do i mean if if you're going through something and trying to put something together for information you know gathering all the information and really kind of looking at all of it and saying you know what am i actually looking at right. and and you know what where do i go from here i right. think is really important and that objectivity well, is yeah yeah he's not a scientific guy so he yeah. can't even read them and i kind of had to go back when he threw stuff at me and i'm like no you're you're taking one sentence out of yep. a paragraph which mm -hmm. explains why that one sentence is being told and yep. you're pulling it out of context yep. and i said the problem here is you're not a scientific guy you don't you can't read the information impartially you're taking what you you know if you go out and say all cars are red you're going to see all the red cars exactly right and that's mm -hmm. the situation he's doing he's seeing what he wants to see and so it's frustrating for me again so we don't we don't even know it's probably going to be a few months before he comes out with it but yeah. we don't know the negative impact but i'm going to have to do more videos like this to get the real information out yeah. and yeah. Um, you know let people understand what's happening and, and what why zeolite is such a great thing to be taking yeah, absolutely. Well, and you know, I have a, so I'm curious just about, because this is a huge, okay, I didn't know, obviously, I'm an athlete, I love training, you know, and I guess I didn't really realize that, like, would you take zeolite before a workout, after a workout to reduce that inflammation like when when would be the well, perfect time to take that the body six to eight hours? Okay, so I take it usually free. Okay. Uh, but even if you took it the night before, you would still probably benefit in the morning. In the from. morning. That's yeah, so morning. interesting. And the other one too, I mean, there's all kinds of different, we, we talk about binders and the binding of toxins in the body and things like that. There's all kinds of different options, right? There's chlorella and there's zeolite and, you know, uh, you can talk about humic and fulvic acid, things like that. The one thing that I was always told, and I really want to hear your opinion on this because now I'm just like, oh my gosh, um, is that you should take, you know, pulse dose things, right? So use zeolite for, you know, two, three months, take a bit of a break, you can come back on. Does it really matter? It sounds like no. it doesn't. No, you're not supposed to do that at all. And I'll tell you why. Okay, the tell zeolite, me why. Zeolite doesn't work that way, right? It pulls yep. the toxins and heavy metals out. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we're exposed to them on a daily basis. So yep. why would you allow your body to build up toxins and heavy metals again? 
when you can take something basically inert like zeolite that's out of your body within six to eight hours, the body treats it and processes it like food. Yeah. Okay. And what we've done with, with our zeolite powder is mm -hmm. we've micronized it. All these other companies, smaller, 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 smaller. So it gets in the bloodstream, blah, blah, blah. What we did was 80% is less than 10 micron. Okay. Mm -hmm. Down to, you know, minus, uh, you know, negative, almost like uh, minus one, right? Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening is that will go into the bloodstream and, you know, detoxify the body. But if the gut is a huge place where toxins and heavy metals reside. Absolutely. So if you don't address that at the same time, it's just going to redeposit into the bloodstream and you're going to have a merry-go-round. So 20% right. of our particles are from 10 to 40 micron size, which stay in the gut. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're able to pull all the toxins and heavy metals. So you get a full body detox using our um, zeolite instead of, you know, uh, these other ones that they're again, they're marketing companies. If you can't see the science, you can't really understand how to develop right. the best products. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And do you think that uh, I have a, one more question, too, because and it, this doesn't happen very often. Every once in a while, you get someone who will be using uh, zeolite and they have just a small uh, kind of an eye on constipation. But you actually, you know, pointed something out to me that, to be honest, I wasn't aware of, that it has been used to eliminate diarrhea. Correct. Right? Right. So if you're susceptible to constipation, yeah. uh, it, it can cause constipation if you're okay. really susceptible to it. Okay. Um, in some people, it doesn't. It also determines on, uh, depends on how much of the amount you're taking. Mm, okay? If you're true. taking large doses, yeah. then you're more likely to get constipated if you're yeah. susceptible. So yeah. what we've told people is drink more water. Okay. Mm, and if that mm -hmm. doesn't work, take a magnesium supplement. Because yeah, that helps with, with that. So yeah. we haven't found anyone that they said, oh, no, that didn't work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's what's great about Z-Line. What, what, you know, to get back what you were, to what you were saying is mm. you can, we always say to take it at a detox level for at least 90 days because it's a, it's a slow go, especially yep. things like mercury. No matter what you're using to detoxify mercury, it's a slow go. Yeah. I, we say to take it for at least 90 days because then um, you'll, some people will start working in two weeks, see a difference. Some people may be longer. Everybody's different. So yeah. we say at 90 days, then you can evaluate the progress that you're having and then mm -hmm. determine, do I continue the detox level or do I go down to a maintenance level? So I'm keeping my pH in balance mm -hmm. and I'm, to any toxins and heavy metals that I come across or exposed to that's pulled out as well. There's yeah. no negative to continuing to take sealant. There's just not. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. And so no negative at taking it long term. Now tell me what and, and again, you can choose not to share if it's something that isn't, you know, public or what have you. But just from a, a your perspective of a detox dose, what, what does that look like? Does that mean taking it multiple times a day at a certain level or just yeah, mean... let me give you a website that's, that's good to do. And I'm going to do two yeah. gifts for everybody. Okay. Because of the FDA attacking us, and mm. what we had to do was in case some reason they weren't able to, we weren't able to get away with bioavailability. And they yep. said, nope, we're going to do full digestive analysis and you'll see that mm -hmm. there's heavy metals in here. We don't want to hear about bioavailability in order to trick and try and take it off the market. Right. We made the dose on the containers, on the labels, low enough. So it would still be below the EPA limit, mm -hmm. okay, of take of toxins of of, of heavy metals, mm -hmm. right? And so then they still couldn't take zeolite off the market because it was below the daily levels. Yeah. So that's how we did the labeling, but it's not the real dosing. Got and it. because we don't, we're, we're in that mm -hmm. very difficult position. Yeah. Doctor Piper, who is an expert in uh, independent expert of zeolite supplementation, created a website called zeolite dosing so z-e-o oh, okay l-i-t-e d-o-s-i-n-g dot com okay. and there you can see the zeolite powder directions he doesn't use our product names because he doesn't yep. want to affiliate mm -hmm. with us to protect us further yep. and he has the estefan zeolite which he calls zeolite capsules for diarrhea he has another product is zeolite capsules with humic acid. So he's taken yeah. our formulations and used descriptions so people yeah. would know how to use them properly. Amazing. Um, okay. 
Now, yeah, I'll definitely here's another that. gift for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's, so this is special. I, have, I don't do this a lot. In his website, because he used to have to go and buy um, the book in, on Amazon, the hard copy book mm -hmm. that he wrote. But he retired to Portugal. Mm -hmm. And he said that we could. he hid his book in electronic form on his website. And you can only get to it by us giving you the address. So I'm oh going to give you that address. Okay. And then you can get to that book. It's about 50 pages. It's easy. Mm -hmm. And um, we weren't allowed to give it away, the book itself, because it talks all about, we say foreign cells, he uses the C word. Got and it. so he talks all about stuff that we can't about yep. what zeolite can do. And so um, that's why he has that book and it's separate from us. So Amazing. it is, again, zeolitedosing.com is the mm -hmm. first part of it. Then forward slash, which is the top of the slashes to the right. I think it's under the mm -hmm. question mark on your keyboard. Mm -hmm. Then zeolite book, mm -hmm. right? All lowercase, all one word, no spaces. Okay. So Z-E-O-L-I-T-E-B-O-O-K dot P-D-F. Okay. So D is Peter, D is in dog, F is in Frank. And then yeah. hit enter. Don't use it in a search. It won't work. You have to use it in the address bar of your browser. Okay amazing oh my goodness two amazing gifts for people and i'll definitely make sure that i share that with our audience and uh, and provide that for them great information and you know really for me it was uh, i mean allowing you know being being able to host you on on the show is so important for me because again we get so many questions about zeolite about how to use it about how long you can use it about you know what's in it why why powder versus liquid and and I mean I really think that we covered all of it and I learned something with because I didn't even think about the lactic acid and zeolite and it helping with regards to training and recovery and things like that which is amazing because there's so many athletes that can benefit from this. Absolutely, which is why I'm going to eventually develop that product. But uh, yep. it's been like probably about 15 years coming and I still haven't done it yet. But we did come out with um, a product. This is, let me tell you what happened. So <laughs> all of these companies who were doing the liquid, all the MLMs, I'm yep. like, okay, I want to get those people to come here. And they're brainwashed that only liquid is working because they're right. being you know, told by these MLM companies, all this stuff. So yeah. what I did was I created a suspension product. It mm -hmm. has 50 times more zeolite in it okay. than these liquid products. Mm -hmm. And um, it's flavored mm -hmm. and um, it has vitamin D3 and um, vitamin B12 with, with, in methylcobalamin. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was by accident, my thing was I'm going to develop this They'll, they'll use this because it's less expensive than the MLMs. They'll see it yeah. working. And then what we'll say is, well, if you see that working, you should use the powder. It's much more economical and you're able to do much higher doses. Yeah. But something phenomenal happened. People started using it on their kids. Oh. And the methylcobalamin, so there's um, a lot of kids who have... Um, What's the, I'm trying to balance this out and how I say it because I don't want to get in mm -hmm. trouble. Mm -hmm. um, learning delays. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're using this, and a lot of them have issues with uh, methylating B12, and so right. they're deficient. Mm -hmm. And so that was part of what started helping them. And then the zeolite on top. Yep. And so these parents in this um, population. Mm -hmm. started seeing amazing things from our product called Zetox. And wow. so we were like, okay, let's get really focused now. And we're coming out actually, uh, we just manufactured it probably within the next uh, month or so, mm -hmm. um, it, a product called Kids Cleanse. Oh, And it's going to be specifically that. And the, the Zetox um, has a flavoring. It, it's all natural flavoring, but mm -hmm. it, it has... Um, uh, peppermint oil mm -hmm. and some kids can't do well with that mm, especially right. so we removed that and mm -hmm. we created three different flavors for the kids cleanse and so mm -hmm. that's a new product launch that we're doing and you know we're hoping that these people who are have their kids in the these populations the the, the stories that we get are pretty amazing and i, I yeah. can't go into details for obvious reasons because yeah. of the powers that be, but of I course. did want to let people understand why we have a suspension mm -hmm. and 
how that developed into another suspension that we're using, but the amount of zeolite in there, like I said, is 50 times more zeolite than these other companies. And by the way, someone actually copied my product on Amazon, another co company um, of the Zetox, mm -hmm. and um, but they're getting commercial grade zeolite, right? They have no idea about zeolite or what they're doing. They just copied it and it's much more expensive because they wow. don't know how to develop it properly. Yeah. But, you know, that's frustrating in the in oh, this world. You absolutely. can't protect certain things. And, yeah. um, well, and that's the hard part too, because you, you know, when they don't understand the science and the use and the real reason for the creation, that's when it really becomes dangerous. Correct. Right. Correct. And that's mm -hmm. a scary fact, especially when kids are involved in that. Right. But that's what I'm saying uh, when these other companies are doing the MLM stuff yeah. and they're just doing synthetic things and all kinds of things just to sell product yeah. and not really understanding the science. Mm -hmm. Then I told you this guy doing the documentary saying, oh, no, there's problems with these other products. We've never heard of anything with yours. Right. I'm like, OK, well, instead of saying Zeolite, why don't you focus on those companies' products? Exactly. Because Zeolite itself just with my company has 25 years of experience helping yeah. people with no negative reports or effects or anything, okay? Yeah. And so why don't you focus on the ones that are causing problems? We don't know what they're formulating with, what mm -hmm. zeolites are using or yep. the purity of them or where they're getting them. If they, you know, there was a competitor that stepped up years ago, um, but when that thing with uh, Kamala Harris and the FDA came up, they, they quit selling the product, the zeolite, because mm -hmm. they didn't want to get into the legal thing. Right. We were the only ones who stepped up. But originally, when I came across them, they were our biggest competitor when they, mm -hmm. they you know, copied what we were doing. Yeah. And I, I tested their zeolite and it had diesel fuel in it what? and mold. And they oh were like, my you're gosh. lying, you're lying, you're, I, I said, listen, a mine that's doing for commercial purposes, they use forklifts and mining equipment. Mm -hmm. And if the diesel fuel gets out, they yep. don't care because it's supposed to be used for oil spill cleanups or things like that. It's not yep. meant for human consumption. We mine specifically for human consumption. So we have the quality control checks to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, yep. I said, go do your own testing. And they did. And they get, oh, my God, you were right. And they started buying their zeolite from us. Wow, that is just shocking. <laughs> well, but once wow. you understand it and see yep. the potential risks and why we do mm -hmm. and what we do and why we process it and develop the way we do, yeah, you understand that okay, we really should be using what they're doing. They're the experts at it. They do it best, yeah. And that's why you know they started using ours. Yeah, makes total sense. Well, and I and I do think and and before we. Uh, uh, sign off. I, I do think that people in the health industry, the world, right, we're in the space, don't understand that there's many, many different types of zeolite, right? right. And right. that that's a big deal, right? You need to understand that concept. You need to understand which ones. I mean, some of them are completely toxic, right? Correct. It's one called urianite that mm -hmm. uh, causes cancer. Yep. Um, and shouldn't be consumed by humans. Absolutely. So, yeah, so I think just, yeah, thank you so much for sharing because I think that there's going to be a lot of, I would say, you know, if I can have one person listening or watching have an aha moment and open their eyes to something new, then, you know, we've spent our time here wisely. And so, well, about yeah. the, um, the supplement companies, right? They have so many different supplements, it's impossible for them to be experts in anything. They yeah. really need to get their ingredients from a yep. company that's an expert in what that ingredient is. And that's, 100%. you know, that's what they're finding out. And that's why these companies who are starting to, you know, do these zeolite supplements are coming to us as the supplier because they realize that we're the best at what we do. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Micah, thank you so much. This was enlightening. I had an aha moment. So thank you for that as well. That was amazing. Thank you um, for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. And so for those of you watching on YouTube, I have a brand new episode every two weeks. Make sure you follow my channel and give this episode a thumbs up. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast host, thanks for tuning in. Give this episode a like and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining us today on the Human Optimization Podcast. Episode technical production is by Grace Sylvester and guest booking by Stu Tate. Want to learn more? 
Visit lisapatelkilla.com for incredible free resources to supercharge your journey to becoming the best version of you. If you enjoyed this podcast, please like and subscribe to the Human Optimization Podcast and follow me on social media at Lisa Patel Killa.